Tonight, official charges in the case of a man who allegedly kidnapped a 74-year-old woman from a local shopping center. It is a story that 9 News first broke on WCPO.com. 9 News reporter Kendall Harold is covering Northern Kentucky News now. She is live with the victim's reaction to today's indictment. Kendall? Tanya, I spoke with Ann Ernst at her home this afternoon. That's when I informed her that the man who allegedly held her at gunpoint right here at Crestview Hills Town Center kidnapped her and then allegedly tied her to a tree was indicted. She told me she was thrilled to hear what she called the good news. Now, Joseph Ware was arrested last Monday for a December bank robbery. That's when police say he implicated himself in the kidnapping case. Ware was indicted by a Kenton County grand jury this morning on charges of robbery, kidnapping in the first degree, and persistent felony offender status. Now, that last charge is because of his prior felony criminal convictions. And Kentucky Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders says that could increase his maximum punishment to 20 to 50 years or even life in prison. Officials say this case that put Northern Kentucky on edge for months is a lesson for us all. It is an example of that everyone needs to be cautious no matter where they go because even if you're in a nice part of town, even if you're in a generally crime-free part of town, uh, violent crime still happens from time to time even in the best of places. We know that Kentucky is a very safe area, but we still want people to always be vigilant, always, always be aware of your surroundings and aware of what's going on. Now, Ware is still behind bars at the Kenton County Detention Center being held on a 50,000 cash bond. That's for the previous robbery charges. Now, Sanders tells me that an additional bond will be set for these two or three, I should say, new charges. Tanya? Kendall Harold, live for us tonight in Crestview Hills. Thanks.